Mike Gallagher is a member of Congress from the state of Wisconsin. We're happy to have him on the show tonight. Congressman, thanks so much for coming on. To read this piece by Nicholas Wade, who I, who I, I, I think is as eminent uh, as any science writer in the world, it makes me wonder why didn't we know this before and why isn't any law enforcement agency doing anything about it? Well, Tucker, if you'll remember a year ago when those of us were suggesting that the lab leak hypothesis just needed to be investigated. We weren't saying that it was the correct hypothesis. We were called bigots. We were called tinfoil hat conspiracy theorists. And the problem, and the mainstream media did everything possible to spread CCP propaganda and shut the voices of those who merely wanted that hypothesis investigated because a global pandemic completely overturned and destroyed our lives and forever changed our country. But now we know that there may have been U.S. taxpayer funding that went to gain of function research at the Wuhan Institute of Virology, and the evidence continues to stack up in favor of the lab leak hypothesis. Even China's version of the CDC dismissed the wet market hypothesis. So why won't the mainstream media ask basic questions of Dr. Fauci, given that they have him on every single Sunday show every week. Instead, he gets questions about seasonal mask wearing and how we're going to have to have 80% of Americans vaccinated and kids are going to have to be vaccinated. They're asking him every question except for the questions that matter. We need to get to the bottom of this. If for no other reason, as you suggested, we can't allow this to happen again. And more to the point, there are those proposing that we are going to increase funding from over 200 million to 1.2 billion for gain of function research. That would be insane if indeed the lab leak hypothesis is correct, as I think the evidence suggesting it might be. I think I've misread the story from the first day. I imagined that the media blackout on the origins of coronavirus was designed to protect the Chinese government. But the U.S. government is implicated in this deeply. The story that Wade tells is of incompetence on the Chinese side and then lying and authoritarian, you know, all the kind of predictable Chinese government behavior. But on the American side, you see people going around a moratorium on dangerous experiments, Tony Fauci signing off on it. And those are the people, the Americans who made this possible, whose, I, I would call them crimes, are being covered up by the media in this country. And to put Daszak on the WHO investigatory team makes absolutely no sense because he has a clear conflict of interest. His entire livelihood, his entire professional reputation is bound up in the very idea of gain of function research. We had other American citizens nominated to be on that team that the Chinese effectively vetoed and they put Daszak on the team. Even the, dub, the head of the WHO, Dr. Tedros, said that the investigation was incomplete and we need to examine the lab leak hypothesis. Again, I don't see a more pressing question in the world. And the fact that people in the media, people in our own government don't want to get to the bottom of it is a failure on every yes. level. One thing they could do, Tucker, is declassify all the intelligence immediately. The Biden administration can do that. Get it out there. Full transparency. This is criminal. I mean, if, if you were mixing dangerous chemicals in your basement and you blew up the neighborhood and killed thousands of people, you would be criminally liable for that. And saying it was a mistake wouldn't be enough to get you out of those charges. This is criminal. I don't think there's any question. Congressman, thanks so much. I appreciate it. Mike Gallagher of Wisconsin.